The Advanced Cockpit Environment Avionics System on Pilatus Aircraft features an interactive moving map. The Interactive Navigation, or INAV Map Display, is capable of showing nav aids, airways and airspace boundaries, geopolitical boundaries, flight plan information, uplink graphical weather, and much more. You can choose the items to be shown using either the touchscreen controller or CCD, along with the various drop-down menus. When you first power up the aircraft, the INAV map is displayed on the upper MFD, but you can display it on the lower MFD by pushing the MFD swap button. A control bar with menu selections and drop-down menus, as well as soft buttons along the side of the map, are used to change the display characteristics of the map. The many different options you have to show on the INAV map appear and disappear from the display at different range settings, so refer to the pilot's guide for those specific details. Select Airports to show airports on the map. Airports are categorized as major airports and minor airports. Depending on the selected map range, major airports are shown with the airport identifier and runways when appropriate. Minor airports are shown along with major airports, but their identifiers are not shown until the map range is further reduced. ILS feathers are shown for runways in the navigation database that have ILS approaches associated with them. The VOR selection shows all VHF nav aids, including Vortex, DME stations, and TACANs. VORs are shown using a nav aid symbol and station identifier. Similar to VORs, you can also show NDBs. Intersections on the map are shown using the intersection symbol and name, depending on the map range. PE Waypoints stands for Pilot Entered. These are shown as squares with the waypoint name. You could use this feature to enter private airports not in the database, or define a place bearing distance. Airways can also be selected on the map. They are differentiated by high airways and low airways. The range setting will determine when low and high airways are labeled with their individual identifiers. If an airway segment consists of multiple airways, all of the identifiers are shown in one label box. The Airspaces button gives you two choices for airspace boundaries to be shown on the INAV map. Terminal airspace or special use airspace. The type of airspace is defined by a specific color and line pattern. When you put the cursor over an airspace boundary, the identifier and upper and lower altitude limits of the airspace are shown. Normally, the airspace information is removed when you move the cursor off of the boundary. However, you can keep the information displayed continuously by pushing Enter when the boundary is highlighted and then Pin. It remains on the map until you unpin it. Selecting Info opens the Show dialog box and displays the pop-up keyboard on the TSC. This is the same dialog box that's displayed when you push the Show Info format button on the TSC. The Flight Plan drop-down allows you to see additional information about the active flight plan. Geopolitical information such as political boundaries, roadways, cities, railways, VFR reference points, and water highlighting can be turned on or off on the geopolitical drop-down menu. Towns and cities with a population greater than 20,000 are shown on the INAV map, and capital cities are displayed using their own symbology. The INAV map is so detailed that even bridges and tunnels along roadways and railways can be seen. Also, when the cursor is on a lake or river, it is highlighted and the name of that body of water is shown. The Terrain menu gives you two options, Terrain and Situational Awareness Terrain. If you prefer, they can be selected at the same time. The Terrain selection is just general purpose non-aviation specific topography and it's not from the EGPWS database. SA Terrain, however, is terrain displayed from the EGPWS. 
The weather drop-down menu lets you control Sirius XM weather, uplink weather options, weather radar control, and the lightning sensor system overlays. For more details on Sirius XM weather, refer to the XM weather on the Pilatus PC-12 and PC-24 video. Both Sirius XM weather and uplink weather are options and require a subscription service. The TCAS function shows traffic information on the map. The default setting for TCAS is on. You have the option to show the flight ID and trend vector of other aircraft. Ground traffic can also be displayed when taxiing around the airport. Soft keys displayed vertically along the right side of the iNav map display give you quick access to commonly used features. The quickest way to use these keys is by pushing the bezel button beside the soft key, or just move the cursor over the soft key with the TSC or CCD. The Map Mode button lets you toggle the map display orientation between North Up and Heading Up Track Up. The Power Up default is North Up. The North Up button is replaced with Show when viewing the secondary flight plan. Pushing Show opens the Show Info dialog box. At any time, selecting Center Aircraft centers the map display on the present position of the aircraft while in North Up mode. When Heading Up mode is active, pushing the Center Aircraft button changes the map to North Up and centers the aircraft. The Center to Waypoint button moves the map center to the two waypoint in the flight plan. When airborne, the current two waypoint is always shown in magenta, while the other waypoints are displayed in white. The Skip Waypoint and the Recall Waypoint buttons are useful when reviewing the flight plan for accuracy. When you are done reviewing the flight plan, the Center to Waypoint or Center Aircraft button can be used to reset the display. The Message Clear button clears any FMS messages that are displayed on the map. The Nearest button opens the nearest dialog box. You can use this to view or select the nearest airports or tune the nearest air traffic control center frequency. You can also use the nearest button to quickly divert to an airport close by. When you select the divert to button and activate the change, a course direct to the airport becomes the active leg in the flight plan. If you have Sirius XM installed, you can use the SXM button to select the altitude at which certain weather data is displayed. You get access to the Jeppesen terminal charts by pushing the Charts button, as long as you have this option installed on your aircraft. The vertical situation display is shown by pushing the VSD button. If you have advanced SXM enabled, you have the option to show the weather information on the VSD as well. The VSD shows you a profile view of the flight plan, along with the current altitude and pre-selector bug with digital readout. Flight plan items such as waypoints, legs, top of climbs and descents, and altitude constraints are shown along your route of flight. Depending on the map range setting, terrain is also shown along the full length of the VSD. An altitude intercept arc shows where on the map the aircraft will reach the altitude set in the preselector. This is useful to adjust your rate of climb or descent to meet a crossing restriction. When the cursor is moved to the edge of the map display, scroll bars are shown. Just click on the scroll bar to scroll the map in that direction. The INAV map on the ACE Avionics System MFD greatly improves your situational awareness and reduces pilot workload by providing quick access to relevant flight information. For more detailed information, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.